minutes of fame and then two other small things. So use the mic. Oh, use the mic? Uh, Did you well yeah. how about if I talk loud? Okay. Um, about, I don't know, some sometime a while ago I was in Target. I was walking through Target and I saw all of this reduced Christmas uh, stuff. So I saw these little uh, Christmas lights that have a sensor built into them. So these just turn on, you know, when it gets dark. And I immediately said to myself, that's an inverter. I could make flip flops and oscillators and all kinds of things out of those. So it's an inverter because when it's light out or one, you know, the light is off or zero, but when it gets dark out or zero, then the light turns on, so it's a one. So it turns a one into a zero, it's an inverter. So to make a flip-flop, you just hook two of those back to back and you get a flip-flop. So of course I have to plug them both in. So here's the two, the sensors, you can't really see the sensor, it's just inside there somewhere. And you hook them up back to back, and they should be a stable flip-flop. You just switch it. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Digital logic, you have to kind of debug a little bit. That should flip the state. If it does, it's because that's not close enough. There it goes. Okay, there it goes. Flip flop. Okay, so so that's two. So you now you, you know one of them would oscillate, of course, but if the light you know would turn itself off and on, but it doesn't reach that far. So you need three of them in a loop. You need an odd number of inverters. An odd number of inverters will create a flip-flop, which is what's, what's in ring oscillators. So we've got to get them all going in the right direction. Yeah. And there's, there's, some sort of <laughs> there's some kind of debugging problem. It well, it's sort of up there, but usually I, I had a lot of debugging problem until I realized that one of these is actually sending signals to both of them, so you just have to Put your hand right here and block that. <laughs> block that process. <laughs> so see. So anyway, that's a that was a surprise thing. Okay, so that, that's that's the end of that. Um, the other thing is is now I need a little bit more light. I wanted to show you something that I found in this back street of Seoul recently. This is uh, not quite the right kind of surface, but let me, uh, is there anything that's like a piece of porcelain? How about that? Uh, toilet. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was gonna, actually I was going to use it, I was going to use one of these chairs. Okay, sure. This guy was selling these things and demonstrating them. It's just a rubber thing. It's a rubbery thing. But watch what happens. Maybe, I hope it works here. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's some kind of, you know, I don't know what it is, but, you know, it remind, immediately yeah. reminds me of, you know, liquid metal. Against the whiteboard. Too, yeah. right? So, cool. the other day I was telling somebody. Throw it against the whiteboard. Oh, well, I think if it gets dirt on it, it ain't going to work anymore, yeah. so that's kind of. It works, it's just gonna <laughs> so I was telling somebody about Microsoft Terminator 2 and everything and that liquid metal, and he said, well, let's cut it in half and see if it comes back together. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, well, it probably ain't that smart. Can you do it one more time? <laughs> wow. you, you didn't get two of them? Uh, yeah, I got a couple of those. Yeah. They were only a dollar. Do they, they I should have bought like 20 of them. <laughs> they were only a dollar. Unbelievable. Okay, where'd you get the band? Uh, some side street in Seoul, Korea. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 the last one actually came out two years ago because two years ago was the year of the Golden King. 
Oh. And that's why they're. Oh, you're from Seoul. That's right. Yeah. I'm not from. Have Seoul. you seen them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you saw them. Were, they were selling them during the year of the Golden Pig. So. Wait, are you oh, talking about your pig? That's a pig. Hey, it's the year of the Golden Pig. Let's think it was two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so the dollar one is like way old. Yeah, so yeah like now, now they're old. Man. Probably they were ten dollars when it started. Okay, the last thing is not so. Not, Don't hate on his pigs. The last thing is not very technical, but I, I wanted to put, say that my son works at you know this goo, this runner's pro product that you that you you know people you tear it off and you squeeze it out. My son works where they make goo, and I can get a huge amount of goo. And, and bring it here. So these things, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 first. So these things cost like a dollar twenty-five to dollar fifty each. So this is kind of valuable. And there's, there's way more than the box that you get for twenty dollars here. And the date is expired. I just wanted to tell people the date is expired, but the expiration date has to do with consistency. The product's actually good for two years after, after the date. What is it? I don't know what that's. Ooh, it's just runners. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is actually. Yeah. It, 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 you just throw it on yourself. No, you, 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 you just tear this off and then you, you know you roll it up and squeeze it in your mouth. It's like a liquid clipboard. And I have a little I have a little sign to put on it so people know. It says. My son works for the goo and he and technically expired all that stuff and it says please take some. Please note that this is not a yummy snack. <laughs> <laughs> it's some kind of pasty thing, you know, that kind of surprises you a little bit. In fact I used to make a joke when he first started there. I, I used to I, I would offer to people to say try it. I say try it. If you don't like it, if you don't like it, you can just rub the rest of it on your bicycle chain. <laughs> okay, that's that's it. Uh, thanks everyone for coming out. I think we had some really cool talks and some really talented speakers. And it'll be uh, this time again next month, the third Thursday of every month. And also, these will be available on YouTube under the user account NoiseBridge. So you should check it out, you should subscribe and tell your friends about it and blog it. Because we actually have the videos online now. Never done it before. So, uh, thank you all for coming out.